please, I'd like to talk to you for a minute. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Okay. I hope you're Oh, no. Thank you. That is serious. Dad, really, I want to apologize to you for the stress I've been making you pass through all these years. Honestly, now I know and understand better. I um, honestly, honestly want to ask for your forgiveness because um, my experiences this few months have actually taught me a hardcore bitter lesson. My son, I am very happy that you finally realized yourself and then uh, have decided to turn a new leaf. To be honest, you see, I, I believe that God allowed you to pass through this phase and come out of it alive, untouched, unhurt for a very good reason. Thank you, Dad. Um, Dad, that's this my old classmate I met yesterday. Really, the guy is doing very well. He's working in a company and he's doing real good. He has a car. He has a, he's married with to keep and he's staying in a five bedroom duplex. Really? Not like all those my old friends that believe that uh, if they don't do ritual or do any bad business, they won't make money. You see what I've been telling you? This is exactly my point. I've been telling you that if you have a good job, or you do a legitimate business, you will be able to live a good life. But you never believed me. Yeah, but I'm happy that uh, you've seen it for yourself. With what I have gone through now, I am going to take my certificate, dust it up, start looking for jobs because I want to work now. I think I've been taking it, uh, I've been playing with it. I've not been serious about it. That's what I'm going to do now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my son. Thank you, sir. I'm happy you realized yourself. Thank you, Dad. Uh, uh, come on, you sure you don't want to take? I want you to help me and talk to Choma. She's the woman I truly love. I want to make her my woman. I want to marry her. Well, Jerry, you know that uh, Chioma is a grown-up girl. She's the one that would determine what is best for her. But for talking to her, I will still put in a word or two as her elder brother. Yeah, that's see. what I mean, as the elder brother. Eh? I want you to put in a word or two. I know she will listen to you. All I promise you and your father, I will make sure I bring it on. Eh? No, there's no problem. I will talk to her like I promised you. I'll make nice sure one. that I, I, I put in one or two. You understand? Nice one. I will not disappoint you people. Huh? I, you people are good people. So who would dream of doing bad to you? If not that fool, laugh him. Huh? Let me tell you. He's a devil from the pit of hell. All the shame that he has brought to your family, I will clean it up. I promise you that I will clean it up. I, yes. will, I, will, I will try my best. Mm. Check I will try my best. Check. Check. I need a quick one here, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A thousand dollars. He may, he may go and exchange it to the man. Five, so that's uh, 560,000. Naira. 
Yes. Don't worry about it. I will talk to her. Okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I, will, I will make sure that uh, she responds. It's fine. It's yes. fine. It's fine. I will not disappoint you. No. Uh, anytime you're less busy, I can take you out. We'll move around. No eh? problem. Gaga Cruz, only Ego. Ego, yeah. Ego, yeah. Ego, yeah. I'll see you. Take care. When I think it's over, when I think I've lost all, that is when God says, Calm down. When I think I'm a nobody, when I think my world has crumbled, that is when. Oh, yes. Ah. <laughs> what will be will be. Hmm? Your daughter Choma and I has been on this for long. Oh yes. If not for that um, that devil that wanted to shatter our life. Thank God that we are here. All their plans failed. Huh? We are happy again and from now good things will kick off from here. Uh, it's all right. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you. As you know, I love my daughter so dearly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I am willing to support anything that will make her happy. Papa, you don't need to worry yourself. Okay? Oh, yes, because I am Mr. Happiness. Uh huh. I will make your daughter happy. She will not lack. I have everything that she needs. Once we marry, everything jabba for her to enjoy herself. Hmm? Do not worry yourself. If not for the little misunderstanding that we had because of that devil that wanted to put things off, we don't have been here talking of this. She will enjoy. I will make sure she enjoys. Eh? And you will enjoy too, as my father-in-law. You know, um, by... Weekend, I'll be going back to the States. Oh yes, oh yes, and uh, your daughter will join me soon. Because I'll soon come back and the uh, marriage process starts. After the marriage, your daughter follows me back to the States. Mm -hmm. I'll give her money for international passport. Once she's done, visa, visa processing starts off. And from there, we'll go back to America. Well, it's all right. Um... I wish you safe journey when you travel. Okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, Papa, I will leave you guys here. Hmm? Let me go and see some friends. This is for you. Abumu make okuro. He will take his work. His work again. Nego go nanka. Thank you. Odugu, join me to the car. I'm here. Oh, I can't get I can't say me. I can't do Um, like I said, uh, get your things. I'll wait for you here so that we go. Right? No. Jerry, no. You can't keep saying no, right? I need to feel you. Uh, uh, let's go home. No, we agreed to do the right thing before anything. I mean, you only did the introduction, not even bride price payment. Hey, babe, we are doing the right thing, right? You're my wife. I know, but you know, I can, I can pay up everything. Jerry, I can do anything. We finish everything before anything. We agreed. Please. That's fine. You win, right? You win. Huh? Anything for you, baby. You know, I can do anything for you. I know. All right. Well. Um, I have something for you. Oh yes, sir. Uh, this is for your international passport. Oh, oh, the passport. Uh, yes, it's much. Do the international passport. Whatever that remains, keep it for yourself. Use that clean up the bit. Thank you. <laughs> um, I need it again because I want to take it to America. Hmm? I know. When you get to America, you know you're not going to say no. Stop. <laughs> I you said nice to see my dad. Uh, they said I should take it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Sure. Oh. Um, you yeah, know, when you get to America. Oh, stop! <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, uh, uh.
What's wrong? Why Shut did up. This... Now listen to me. You can hate me for telling the truth. But I don't care. All I know is that the truth must always be told. So this, don't mind what I told mommy and daddy. When I told them that I was joking. Emeka, it is not a joke. It is real. They know the truth. The truth is everywhere, but they will not tell you because they don't want you to feel isolated. How dare you? How dare you? If you start your nonsense again today, I swear to God, I will deal with you. I do not care if you're my senior brother or not. You are mad. You have lost your respect. You are stupid for this thing you just said, if you don't know. Something is wrong with your head. Oh, you feel because they've said you are the only one that has been achieving a lot of things. Like, respect yourself. Let me put you through this whole thing so that it will be very clear to you because you're still a very small boy. Go and bring your birth certificate. Open it. Compare your birth certificate, everything written inside, with ours. Number one, we have a family hospital. Two, we have a family doctor. The three legitimate and bona fide children of this family were born in the same hospital by the same doctor. Why is your own different? Have you not asked yourself? Have you not? Now let me tell you, to show that you're stupid, you had the guts to insult a legitimate and a bona fide first son of this family. Now, if you check those things, you will see that you don't belong here. For your information, I am not saying it because I want you to pack your things and run away. Mm -mm. Or if you run away, the better for you and I. Because as a legitimate and the bona fide first son of this family, very soon, Power will change hands. And by then, I will give you the place you're supposed to be in this family. So if you run away, the better. But all I want you to know is, you were picked by... You miserable beast. Emeka! Emeka! You slapped me! I slapped you. You had the mind! Hey! I will kill you in this house. You wanted war. Eh? Now taste war. You had the yes. mind to slap me, Mika! Yes, I slapped you. You slapped I me! I slapped you! you slapped
Hello? Hello? He was one of the stupid African bitches Jerry's deceiving her. Listen and listen good, okay? Jerry's been married to me since seven years now. We got two kids, Max and Vera. You better be useful to yourself and forget about him. He's an ungrateful asshole. And he's going nowhere. If he tries to leave me, I would finish him off, okay? Just get into your silly bush brain, alright? And don't ever I repeat, don't you ever call this number again. Who is this? Hello? All about life is so deep. All about life is so wide. All about life is so mysterious. Be careful. All about... Gee, what is it? Gee, I don't know. I don't know. Someone just called me now. I'm using your phone saying she's Jerry's wife and she has two children that he's married. With Jerry? With Jerry, Jerry. Your husband? Yes. How can Jerry... I don't know. Who? A woman or a man? I don't know. A woman. It's a woman. She's a woman. Jerry? Yes. Has a wife? Yes, yes. And two children. Two children? Yes, yes. What's going on? I don't know, I don't know. Come down. Hmm? Come down, you know. You can never know all these guys. It's even better that we are getting to know all these things now. Before tomorrow, he will marry you and everything will expose. Do you understand? Because some of these guys that claim they are abroad, they will come, deceive girls, that they want to marry, the girls will put all their heart with them and they will disappoint them. But sis, it's okay. Nothing has spoiled yet. Thank God it happened this early. You are a beautiful woman with the whole world ahead of you. See, if this one spoils, let it spoil. A man that is for you will come, that will love you. And when that man comes, who even know? When I think it's over, oh, 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 when I think oh, oh, I'm over, oh, 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 that is no, when down. God says huh? to calm down. I just need space, I need space. When I think I'm a nobody. Gigi, when down. I think my yeah. world has crumbled, we don't know this guy. That is when God rests on me. This name is ceremony. Sweet. Exhausting. They really Exhausting. tried, though. Honestly. I wasn't wow. expecting this much. Mm, mm. They tried. They tried. Wow. Two jobs here. Uh, Jamaica, you are uh, here. Joshua. Mom, I demand a DNA test. What? You heard me right. For the past two days of your absence, Joshua has presented me with clear evidences that you're not my parents. Again? Joshua, again? And you're still falling for that? Who can... Joshua! Joshua! Come here! Joshua! What did you tell this young man in our Me? How? Have I seen you today? Did, did, did you discuss anything today? It's not today! What did you tell him? <laughs> Dad, there's really no need. Of course, just try to lie as usual. I don't even feel like I belong to this family anymore. I need a DNA test! I demand it! DNA test? What for? Oh wait, I, 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 let me understand something. Emeka, are you indirectly trying to say that 
and mother was once unfaithful. Joshua! This is very critical. How can he, without respect, no one are you out of respect? He doesn't have He stands before you and that. And indirectly, he is saying that you are one who was unfaithful. Ah, no. You see, of course. Dad, mom, you see it? You see the result of overpowering this boy. See? No respect. It doesn't matter anymore. It really doesn't matter anymore. I've made up my mind. It's either a DNA test or I'll do something really terrible. Or you tell me the truth. Yes. Don't even talk. Sweetheart. Mom, I, I am not. Yes, sweet. Don't call me that. Just, I, I need the truth. Please. Honey. You see this joke? It has gotten out of hand and I think it is time we get this done and dusted. I can't take this anymore. I can't. America, you want a DNA test, isn't it? Isn't it? You will get it. We are going to get a DNA test so that this matter will be let to rest permanently once and for all. Yes. Yes. We are going for a DNA test. I'm going to arrange for it and then I'm going to communicate to you on the time, date and venue. Let everybody be prepared. Thank you. But that, you better give me that DNA test too. I'm not... I'm, you, are, you, are, you, are still, you don't even have respect. You are still talking. Joshua, get out. Mom. You heard me. Get out. Joshua, get out! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Brother Amy, food is ready. The let's go and eat. Brother Amy, you can't starve yourself, you know. Ada, just, just go away. I, I'm, I'm not hungry. Brother Amy, you've not eaten anything since yesterday. Everyone has begged you, but you refused. Do you want to develop Pulsa? Pulsa? It doesn't matter. I want to die right now. So just... Just leave me alone. God forbid. You're my brother and nothing can change that. I'm your brother. But you were there when Josh called me a stranger. And what did you do? What did you do at that? You walked out on me. And you calling me your brother. Shusha was blackmailing me with lies. Lies that I was going around with boys on the street. Which is a lie. <sighs> I thought he was going to tell our parents. And you couldn't confide in me and you call me your brother. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't think of it. Everything happened so fast. 
I'm so sorry I betrayed you, brother. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. And I'm not your brother. Don't call me your brother until the DNA test is out, please. Just, just leave me alone right I now. I don't care about any test. Nothing can stop my loving you as a brother. Just go, just just go. It doesn't matter anymore. Just just leave me alone. You called yourself my sister. Just just and you betrayed me. Just leave me. Just leave me alone right now. I want to be alone. Please. I'm, I'm sorry. Just, just, just go. Just, just go. Just go. Go, please, just leave me alone. Just go, just go. God is the hope to the hopeless. Never you cry again. He has your future in his plan. Wipe your tears away. Wipe your tears away. God's on time is the best. When Doctor, you know, you know it is not easy for a man to decide to take his entire family for a DNA test. Yes. Um, there is a critical issue in my family that I need to resolve. It's a long story, but um, let me just do this. Let me just do it. It's going to help me, at least to prevent uh, future disaster. Ah, it's all right. Um, you know, it's uh, only a man that uh, decides how to go about his problems. Exactly. But I'll still advise that you take it easy, whatever it is. Oh, oh, sure, sure. Yes, yeah. I, um, <laughs> it took me time to come to this decision, so it's something I'm doing consciously. I'm fine. Uh, we are going to require lots samples of each member of the family then uh, of course the payment no problem no problem I'll, I'll make the payments you already told me about the bill no problem yeah i'll take care of that i will arrange for family members for their blood samples i will determine what i'm going to do it individually or policy i'll take care of that but before long you get uh, what you need yeah you get the blood samples Okay, I, I hope um, your hospital accepts. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, I will. Um, I will send you the hospital details. Okay, okay. It's not. It's not, not going to be a problem. Yeah. That's alright. Right. We'll do it. Alright, okay. Doctor Francis. Alright, my friend. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So I'm expecting the message. I will send it. The details. Yes, yeah. I will send it. That's alright. And uh, please, you take it easy. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yes. Thank you. You already
Did you come for the battle? Who is this woman? This was was her name. <laughs> What's your name? Mr. Ma, what is it now? Yeah. What is your business here? Eh? Sorry, Sorry for yourself. Why are you touching me? Ah. Uh -uh. Oga, please, can you go? Leave now. Ah uh ah. -uh. Sure. Please get out of this place, sir. Get out. Woman, Rafa. When they bring you down to the mall. When you see many heartbreaks be silent and wait for God to answer. Never you lose hope. God is the hope to the hopeless. Never you cry again. He has your future in his plan. Oh, I guess so. Uh, you are here for the interview. Why are you not inside with us? Yes, I'm here for the interview. Um, inside, too much distraction. I just came out to go through some things that will help me for the interview. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, my name is uh, Obina Urakwe. Nice meeting you. Hi. My name is Uche Osondo. Oh. Oh, well, you see, for me, I'm very skeptical about these people. I hope they're going to pay well. Because me, I'm looking for a job that will pay very well. Well, for me, I'm not here for the pay. I'm actually uh, interested in uh, a company that will uh, give me an opportunity to work, help me to rise in my skills and uh, knowledge. Not really necessarily for the fat pay. Mm, that's interesting. Yes. If I was an employer, what I would do is I would look for people that will help uh, share my company's uh, grow vision, you know, help the company to grow, not necessarily people that will come looking for the pace. Because if the pay is not there, they will run. Hmm. Oh, did you say your name was Uchi Osondo? Yes, Uchi Osondo. Why? Uh, you know, anytime I hear that name, Osondo, it rings a bell. Brings back memories. Wow. Really? Yes. You see, there used to be a man called um, Edwin Osondo. He played a major role when I was born, a vital role in my life. Edwin. If not for that, yeah, Edwin. If not for that man, I would have been a school dropout. Wow. He's just a sport. Do you know my father bears that same name, Edwin Osondo? Yeah, uh, the Edwin Osondo I'm talking about. He owned a big shop in my streets. But uh, when I came back from boarding school, I had his shop got burnt and he relocated. For 20 years, I have been trying to look for this man. Nobody knows his whereabouts. Do you know what? My father used to own a shop at Yetunde Street, number 17 Yetunde Street, if I can remember. Yeah, 17 Yetunde Street. In Lawrence and Sundari Lagos. The shop also got bombed. We relocated. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean number 17, Yetunde Lawrence? Yes. What, what are you talking about the same man? Okay. If, wow. you, if you see the man, will you recognize him? Of course I will. Well, I have his photo on my phone. Let me show you. That, that's him. Yes! With the white bears. That is him. Are you sure? Of course! Though it's a long time, but I still recognize his face. Oh, is he still alive? What is that? Do you want to kill my father? I'm telling you, I live with him in the same house. I ask me, is he still alive? He's alive now. Okay, don't worry. After the interview, we'll all go together. Come on. Please, I need to see him now. Now, listen, I, I need to see Daddy now. He means everything to me. Please. Daddy, what? Yes. Guy, calm down. 
we are here for an interview. When we are done, I agree. I'll take you to the house. Come on, come on. You, know you really people. just understand who this man is. To. Listen, I can't wait for another second. He's my second God. He made me who I am today. Please. Okay, let's go. Come on, trust. Please, please. I just need to see him. Right? I need to see daddy now. Now. Seeing him now will benefit you more than this interview. Yes. Come on, come on, please. Please, trust me. Trust me, believe me. Please, let's go. Let me ask you, sorry. Is this your car? Oh, oh, no, no. Actually, my friend's car. He traveled abroad and he told me to be using it on his back. Huh? Yeah. It's a nice one. Come on, stop the You might think. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm not lying to you. I cannot lie to you. Uh, yes, I won't lie. Uh, she's my friend. But uh, she wanted marriage. I told her no. That I have a beautiful angel wedding for me back at home. I cannot lie to you. She, she just cooked up that. You are such a liar. What about the children? She mentioned their names. Uh, uh, there is no child. You know a woman, if she says that I have a child, that you will run. I will, I will not lie to you. Why will I lie to you? I don't have a... She's just my friend. I met her. We have not even uh, had anything for over just a few months ago. I, I just met her a few... I, I Jerry, won't lie to you. are you telling me the truth? I'm telling you the truth, baby. Trust me. I won't lie to you. Trust me. Okay? You're the only one I have. You are the, you are the one I want to make my woman. Right? I'm scared because she sounded... Trust me. I won't fail you. Okay? Yes. So, let's go because I don't want your father to meet me here. Oh, yeah, let me let me let me call him. Okay. Tell him. Hello, Dad. I'm fine. I'm just stepping out for a while. I am fine. I just wanted to let you know. Okay, bye. My baby, you know I won't fail you. Hmm? My outstanding. My Lord. You mean this is your house? Yes, this is where I stay. This is my family house. Why do you ask? Oh, oh never mind. Never mind. Okay. Just sit. Should I get you something to drink? Oh, no, 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 I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm right. 
Okay, thank you. Just a minute. Papa! What happened? Uh, are you done with the interview? Uh, something came up. Somebody wants to see you urgently. Somebody? Who is he? Uh, I don't know him. I met him at the interview venue. He said that if you see him, you'd know him. Hmm. A man? Yes. He said that uh, you helped him uh, years back. Really? I know I've helped a lot of people in the past. Who could this be? Uh, it's alright. So, where is he now? He's waiting in front. It's alright. Let's go and see him. That it's you. That it's me, Obina. Obina, Obina used to pay his school fees and feeding money before I went for boarding school. Come on. Ah. Obina! Yes, Obina! Ah! That's how I found you! This is you! Thank God, yes, this is me. This is me. I can't believe this! <laughs> ah, that's it! Ah. I've been looking for you. Obina! I can't believe this! <laughs> I told you! I told you! I told you! Hey. <sighs> this is me. Ah! Okay. So, how is everything? I'm fine, I'm fine. When I came back from school, I sat for you for these 20 years. Yeah. And I was told your shop got burnt. My son, it's a long story. Everything I worked for, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Dad. All right, see? After my secondary school, I got a scholarship, went to UK to study, did my first degree, did my master's degree. After school, I was working, I got a job, I worked for some time, and I decided to come back home. Because I met him at the interview. We got talking, and here I am today. I found you. Thank you. You're still alive and so strong, my son. <laughs> we thank God for everything. Eh? Thank God for everything. And I'm so happy that you've progressed so much. Ah. Eh? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I knew you were going to make it. Ah, that's <laughs> so, yeah, so tell you me. You, you mean you attended the same interview that my son went for? Eh? I mean, what a coincidence. Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> Dad, not as an applicant, but the one recruiting people. I like recruiting people in my company. You mean your company? Oh, yes. You are the owner of the company? Yes. I am the CEO of Cutting Edge Technology. But you, you told me... Oh, yes. I have a unique way of employing people in my company. All I do is dress like an applicant, mix up with them, so I'll be able to fish out dedicated ones. Hmm? Wait a minute. Are you saying you are the owner of the company? Yes, the parent company is in the UK and we are the best in blue chip technology. But you, you told me... Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I was just putting your leg. The car is mine. It's one of my fleet. I have a house in Lekki and a mini estate in Aja. Well, Father, God has really blessed me so much. Indeed. God has been wonderful. It's been wonderful indeed. But why are we still standing? Standing? Oh, oh, what will you do? Oh, let me get. No, no, you must get. Oh, no, I don't. I'm so happy. Come in, look at you. Thank you, Dad. Ah, look at you. All right, Dad. Ah, thank God. Thank God, I'm 
Thank God I'm not the house. I'm so I'm so grateful I found you. Ah! Thank God. Uh I know you must have gone through a lot these few years. My son, it's been tough. Really tough. Like you knew, I, I lost everything to that fire. Okay? And after the shop got burnt, we had no option but to relocate to the village temporarily. We stayed there for a while and uh, we decided to come back to start again, you know. Well, I tried my best. I was able to put up this little structure you see here. And um, things were picking up all of a sudden. Nature struck. My wife fell sick, so sick, she had uh, cancer of the pancreas and she suffered for a very long time. Well, I used everything I had to try to make her live. Unfortunately, she died. Sorry. So sorry about everything that happened. Sorry. But don't worry. To the best of my ability, I will turn things around. Yeah, you see, all my life I never experienced fatherly love until I met you. If not for you, I will be nobody today. It's time for me to reciprocate. I will do everything possible to take care of you. And I will make sure my company places you on a retirement salary until the end of your days. Eh? Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you. Not just that. Then for you, consider yourself past the interview. What? Yes. <laughs> not only that, get ready. I'm flying you abroad before you start. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You have to thank our daddy. If not for him, I will be nobody today. Hmm? Look, my son. I am so happy for this moment. Thank God. I never conceived in my wildest imagination that something like this will happen one day. <laughs> you know? Yes. Yes, thank God. See, I really had no option though. I had no option. There is no way I could have allowed you to drop out of school knowing that you were so brilliant and well behaved. Ah. Eh? <laughs> eh? Thank you, Dad. I had no option. Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Oh, oh, yes, Dad. Oh, like you said, good name and good deed are the best assets anyone can possess. You're very correct. <laughs> oh. uh. Yeah, hello? Yes, you can carry on with the interview. Yeah, make sure you shortlist the best candidates for a later day. Or, oh, for real? Okay, okay. I'll be there in a jiffy. Alright. Yeah, that, that is my... Human Capital Development Manager. Yeah, uh, he said my foreign partners are in my office. I need to see them because they are leaving the country tonight. That means you can go. All right, so yes. um, I'll be back. Sorry. I'll be back. All right. All right. You see him off, eh? All right, sir. Okay. I'll be back soon. Right. Ah, let's take a selfie. Okay. Ah. Mm. okay. <laughs> All right. All about life is so deep. Everybody say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I'll be back soon. Ah. 
Are you fine? This picture is fine now. No, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's ah, fantastic. Hey, I can't believe this is happening. Hmm. Eh? Hey, look, Uchi, we have to prepare something delicious for him before he comes back. Where, where? Eh? Where, where? Hey. Hey. Where is Choma? Dad, I should be asking you where is Choma. Where did she go? Ah, oh, sorry, my bad. She told me she was going out briefly. Uh, eh, she'll be back soon. She's missing her big time. <laughs> a lot. She's missing a lot. <laughs> Hi! It's Uche. It's very beautiful. Though. Oh, God. Oh, I said, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> ah, this is too much. <laughs> eh? Just a twinkle of an eye. God is a wonder. God is a wonder. Hello, baby. <laughs> Surprise! Winnie! Winnie, how are you? Very well. When did you arrive? This morning. Uh, do you have a program in Nigeria? Not really. I flew in to see you. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, but not thanks. Come on. Winnie, what is the problem? You're not looking happy? Am I supposed to be happy? You abandoned me for a long time in London and you don't reply my test up more of taking my calls. Oh, oh, come on, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry about that. But you see, since I came back, I have been so busy. Very busy trying to put things together. Spare me such lies, okay? Look, I know what's up. I guess you are hooked up with local girl here. You want to abandon me? <laughs> that would happen. Okay? I won't allow such thing to happen. Come, come on, it's, it's not what you think. What am I supposed to think? Now, Obi, now, what am I supposed to think? Sorry, excuse me. Are you not uh, Jerry Maxwell? Oh, uh, yes. Do I know you? Oh, yeah, I ran into your cousin some time ago, and she gave me an update about you. Well, she told me you're not happily married. She's a kid. Uh, uh, what? Yes. She even showed me your family photograph. Eh? Well, congratulations. Yes, uh, excuse me, excuse me, please. Excuse me. Um, uh, excuse me. Uh, my cousin Jane said that. Yes. Oh, she even told me uh, you're trying to get married to a Nigerian woman that will take care of your mother. Uh, yes. Who are you, please? Come on, don't tell me you don't recognize me. Obina, your cousin. The same Obina you grew up with. 